All right, so my father-in-law gave me a uh, Sears Craftsman uh, twin cylinder 240 volt uh, compressor. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to wire up an outlet for it. Uh, I'm right here, right next to my panel. And you can see due to my uh, shoddy drywall work, I'll have an easy time of fishing some wire up through that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get started and uh, show you how to wire it up. Okay, so the first thing I did is verify I don't have any wires back here. And of course, you saw my drywall job, so that was an easy job for me. But before you start cutting into here, you want to make sure you don't have any wires. I'm just going to use one of these electrical boxes that has these uh, side clamps here. And as you tighten the screws, this will uh, tighten up and pull against the back of the drywall. There's one on the bottom as well. So I'm just going to get a uh, rough outline of the dimensions of it. You don't want to cut it too big because the uh, tabs don't have anything to grab a hold of. Okay, so it should look something like that. Okay, so what I'm using is just a Dremel attachment. This is just a Sears rotary tool and an actual Dremel uh, drywall cutter. And you can see I got a little squirrely with it here, but that's okay. As long as you don't go on the outside of the line, it's okay to go on a little bit on the inside. I'm going to have to move the camera out of the way. I knocked it back on the first attempt here. All right, let's see what kind of a mess we made here. Let's see if we can get that out of there. All right. Take a look and see how we did. So that's not too bad. So the little Dremel attachment did a pretty good job. Uh, if you take your time and, and uh, you know, don't go crazy with it. Uh, follow the line. I always go a little smaller and then you can always take a little bit around the edges like you can see I did on the corners here. So, Okay, so you can see here I have the power off, uh, the main breaker. And it's also recommended that you actually shut power off to the home in case this breaker fails. Um, I've already tested this. I don't have power. And the spot I'm going to use is this right here. I've got a 100 amp breaker in here. When we built the house, we actually just moved a mobile home out behind the house and we ran the mobile home off from this. So I'm just gonna pull this and I'm gonna pop my uh, 20 amp breaker in. Basically the way these come is uh, there's a little lip here on the front of this uh, circuit breaker. So I'm gonna tip it forward. It's better to do with two hands, but. And you can see I've got a brand new 20 amp uh, breaker here. Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, feed my wire up through and again I'm right here at the panel so it's gonna be a pretty easy task let me set the camera down okay you can see I have the uh, wire fished up through here and uh, because we're running low on daylight I'm actually gonna uh, set the camera down I'm gonna strip these back and show you how to connect it all up when I come back okay so I still have the power off there's no juice going through the uh, the box and I've got the power shut off to, from the outside of the building it's gonna take my black wire here and put it right there. My father-in-law is an electrician, by the way, so I've done some consultation with him, and uh, he's told me on this particular um, outlet in this job, it doesn't matter uh, the order in which they go. I'm trying to do it nice and neat to make my father-in-law proud. I actually want to get it all buttoned back up and everything before I hit the power. Okay. So the way he did it also is just kind of tuck these up out of the way. Kind of make a right angle bend straight in. And just make sure they're snug. Okay, the same with the ground. You can see there's a bus over here where all the grounds are going. And I've got one loosened up. Okay, so what I've down, done down here is I've taken some small needle nose and I've made these little uh, bends on my wires. 
that's going to make it easier to get the outlet on. Okay, so we need to put our box back in. I, I just mounted it earlier to test the uh, fit. And actually, uh, I found that it was going to be easier to run the wire with it not in there. So, let's go ahead and tighten that down. All right. Okay, you can see I've made little uh, hooks on the end of my wire here. And I like to do that just because it makes it a little bit easier to, to wrap around the screw. And with this uh, outlet here, it's a NEMA 6, uh, 20 amp. Uh, it's recommended that their ground go up, and that's apparently true so that uh, if something were to fall down across, uh, it could potentially stop that from arcing out. So that's why the ground is facing up on a lot of outlets. I always thought that was upside down, uh, but my father-in-law, the electrician, clued me in on that. And I left a little more wire than I normally do um, when I do these things. And primarily because I was afraid we weren't going to get this on camera. It's just easier to get it in the shot when you have a little bit more wire to work with. And that one, I'm just going to bend it a little bit more. All right, so we're just gonna bend this up in here. All right, so you definitely wanna check the uh, specifications in the manual for your compressor. Uh, this compressor here draws 16 amps and I'm right close to the box. So I'm using a 12-2 wire, which is 12 gauge wire in the 20 amp uh, breaker. Uh, you know, some compressors may require a 30 amp breaker and depending on the distance you are from your box, you may actually even need heavier gauge wire. So definitely check that out before you go and buy everything and uh, make sure it's gonna work for you. Okay, we'll put the faceplate on here. I want to get it all buttoned up here before we try it. I can't stress enough that you definitely uh, need to take precaution, especially dealing with 220 or 240 volts. If you don't feel comfortable doing this type of thing, uh, then I would recommend you hire somebody to do it. Um, working with electricity, better safe than sorry. That's my uh, philosophy. All right, I'm gonna plug the compressor in. We'll give it a shot. Okay, there's my 20 amp breaker. And you can see here I've scratched out the old label, uh, compressor. I'll make a new one nice and neat. So my father-in-law will be proud of me. Uh, I'm gonna flip it on. Didn't trip, so that's a good sign. Okay, here's how the outlet finished off. Uh, not bad, it's right here under my panel. And you can see the Dremel tool, I did a much better job than I have in the past. Don't do this, do this, okay? Let's take a look here. Compressor's in the off position. And I have checked the oil, but it's a pretty old unit, so we got some work to do on it. I've gotta get a regulator. Uh, this gauge is stopping at like 60 pounds, I would imagine, because the, the tin is bent. 
and I've got a plug here so it can build up pressure. So let's see what happens. Free compressor, wired it up 220. And uh, I've got to get a regulator and see how it works. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you're not familiar uh, with electricity and, and the basic workings of your panel, uh, you may want to think twice about doing this. Um, always shut this off when working on the panel. As a matter of fact, I would highly recommend that you actually shut the power off to the house out on your pole. Um, and then you could even take a tester and test it. Um, so good luck. Hopefully this was helpful. Leave questions and comments below. Again, I'm not an electrician. I'm just a you know do-it-yourself guy uh, like many of you are. Um, there it is. I just wanted to get my compressor working. Thanks for watching.